Our second question of tonight is by Lena. And Lena asks a question that is often asked by young girls, young women. She says, can I, uh, can I welcome my girlfriends while I'm wearing a dress which is covering my knees and under it I have tights? Now, in so many places, a lot of those who listen to such a question would be astonished. Why is she asking such a question? Well, I'll tell you why. The question is posed by someone who is either practicing Islam properly or living in a household of people who are practicing Islam. So most likely, maybe Lena is a practicing woman or a girl or her parents are. And in so many places, we have this in our homes as well. There is this feud between the teenagers, between the youngsters, and their tendency to rebel against the traditions, against what is the norm. And they would argue and debate about issues without any knowledge, because simply they are following their own whims and desires. And this is the simplest way of putting it. Lena is asking about the ruling on wear, wearing a skirt that covers the knees. So we know that a man's awrah is from the belly button to the knees. But for a girl or a woman, it is a bit beyond that. So it should be to the middle of the leg, as scholars say. Likewise, when it comes to the shoulders, she should not have bare shoulders. She should at least cover her uh, uh, middle of the biceps. And the scholars provided evidences backing this up that she should not wear things that women do not usually wear their jewelry in. So the limit is where you wear your jewelry in. So uh, this area is okay. Showing, exposing the cleavage is not. The shoulders, they used to wear bands on the biceps and jewelry. This is permissible. Beyond that, above that is not. Likewise with the legs. When a woman wears a, um, a skirt that reaches to the middle of the leg, this is okay. But if it is close to the knees, if she bends over or if she sits, the skirt would go up and it would expose some of her thigh or the, the knees. And this would become uh, prohibited and not appropriate. Therefore, Lena, I would advise you to set a trend for yourself to please Allah and not to please your girlfriends, not to please your peers, not to please those who are around you. Because it is inappropriate that we become like sheep in a, a, a herd, just following the leader. Whatever, whatever they do, we do it. And this is the case with fashion. When they used to wear many skirts, everybody wore many skirts. When they decided to wear long, uh, addresses, everybody started doing this. The hippies, when they had beards, everyone thought that was cool. And when people shaved their beards, then this is the trend again. A Muslim is not like this. A Muslim, a proper Muslim, has rules and regulations. He abides by whatever Allah orders him to do and whatever the Prophet ﷺ instructs him to do. That's why he's a Muslim, a person who submits his will to Allah Azza wa Jal. So it's not what I say or what X, Y, Z says. It is what Allah Azza wa Jal commands us with. It is what the Prophet Azza recommended us of. And what the scholars of Islam whom we trust and believe in came to understand from the Quran and from the Sunnah and gave us the verdict. So. Basically speaking, there is nothing wrong in what you are wearing, uh, um, Lena. However, if you know 
that by bending over the back of your thighs to the middle of your thigh would be exposed or when you sit it the skirt would go uh, above your knees then it is not permissible to wear it in this case and Allah Azza wa Jal knows best